Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In the previous video, we have seen how we can use a type ahead block and how we can get data into the type ahead block using a data raptor extract action. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the type ahead block when we don't have a data that is being fetched from a data raptor extract action. Rather, we are going to use the data that is shown in the type ahead block from the OmniScript data JSON itself. Let me show you how it works with the help of a demo. So this is our OmniScript and we have a data raptor extract action in the beginning of this OmniScript. And this is just because we want some data uh, to be there in the data JSON when we launch this Omnis, Omniscript. It doesn't have to come from a data raptor extract action. It, the data can either exist already or you can you can dump the data from an integration procedure into the Omniscript or it can also come from another Omniscript. For the simplicity of this demo, we are going to extract the data first into the data JSON of Omniscript using data raptor extract action one and then we are going to use it in the type ahead block. Let's see how that works. First of all, let me just do the preview once so that you will get some idea how the data is being populated here. So as soon as you launch the Omniscript, it's going to fetch uh, records from the data raptor and it's going to show account, uh, an array of accounts which is having uh, three different records each of which are fetching name and ID. Now we are going to use this particular data set into the type ahead block. How do we do that? Let's find out. So this is a type ahead block. We'll just fetch it into the step one. And Let's configure it. Next, uh, this time around, we are not going to get any data raptor extract action inside the type ahead block. We are simply going to configure it using these properties. So this is a data JSON path that we need to <coughs> provide. And this is going to be used as a set of records. So basically we are going to enter any particular node which is present in the Omniscript data JSON and which is also a list. So we are going to put in accounts over here. Okay. And now we have to show the type ahead key as well. So we are going to map it with name so that when you type anything in the suggestions, only the name would be visible. And let's try to see if it's working or not. So you launch the Omniscript, you get all the data in the accounts node over here. And let's try to write something and let's see if it's coming up into the suggestion or not. And it says this page has some error. And we need to debug it now. Okay, you need to make this boolean true as well because this is the data JSON path and we have to use this to fetch records. So we just mark this true and let's go back to preview. Let's write something and yes, we are getting everything. If we click on here, uh, it's not showing any related data as an ID uh, because we have not put in any text uh, element onto the screen. So 
yeah it is working as expected let's go to design and let me show you another interesting property over here which is a lookup mode so if you if you go ahead and click this boolean you would be able to see all the suggestions in one go see this is now working as a lookup as soon as you click on it all the related names or suggestions will be visible onto the screen you don't have to type anything as such you just have to click over here and you would be able to see all the suggestions this is what the lookup mode is and that's it for today's uh, demo guys thanks for watching the video and do like share and subscribe